Do you guys remember the mom who ran the controversial vlog channel by the name of Eight Passengers? I'm pretty sure it's the same woman who essentially forced her six and eight year old kids to make their own lunch before they went to school. And if they forgot to do that, and if they forgot to pack their lunch before school, she would not bring them lunch. And she would apparently get onto the teachers and or friends if they fed her kids, because that was a justifiable punishment of forgetting to make your lunch as a six to eight year old. I don't know, bizarre. And then you have like a whole bucket list of other random stuff that she's done that makes you go, wow, something's not quite right here, but she's back and apparently worse than ever. Bro, do they really have to throw the fireworks right as I start recording the video? How long is this gonna last? This time she's raging over a song that one of her kids is dancing to in her dance class. My understanding of it is apparently at this school, they do a flash mob dance at the end of every semester. And our vlog mom over here found out what song they're going to be dancing to. And apparently she really did not like the song. So I thought today we'd sit back, relax, jump into this downward spiral together and see where we end up. Because I have not seen this clip yet. This is Hannah telling me to react to all of this. Should schools be endorsing TikTok? Yeah, we're really in this one. Okay, let's hear it out. Julie is in a PE class over at the middle school. The teacher is going to have all of the students in her class, which includes Julie, do a TikTok dance for the school to like interrupt their lunch, like a, a surprise dance to everybody. TikTok dance. Hmm. What are the dance moves? And she's like, well, in the real dance, they're, they're kind of naughty. And she said just to do something different there. And I said, what do you mean? She says, well, some of the girls still twerk. I said, what songs are in this? She told me one of the songs. And I looked it up to look up the lyrics. It is straight up hardcore Wait, wait, people are saying it's like Flo Rida Low. <laughs> the song is hardcore. <laughs> is it justified or is it not? Because some songs are, yeah, would, would not be appropriate to have kids dancing to it. Yeah. Also, yeah, if kids are, if they're having underage kids twerk in the cafeteria. That's yeah, that, that's weird. That's very weird. So I do understand the outrage here for that part, but if it's literally full right low, <laughs> That's a, um, an over-exaggeration. I was reading the lyrics quietly to myself as I was scrolling. I just typed in the, the name of the song and I said lyrics of. And Julie said, well, the teacher said that because they're only using part of the song that doesn't say all of those bad things, then um, it's okay. If it's a TikTok dance, that makes sense because TikToks can be like 15 seconds. So it would make sense that they're just doing a quick 15 second dance to a portion of a song, right? What I don't understand is... Are they filming this dance for a TikTok as well? I don't know. If they're filming this for TikTok to post on the internet, I yeah, I would be I would be upset as well because I wouldn't want my kids to be posted by the school onto TikTok. If this is just like for only the people in the cafeteria to see and it's not being posted on the internet, I don't see too much of a problem with it right now, especially if they are not dancing to a inappropriate part of the song. If it's Flo Rida Low, she's overreacting big time. Next thing you know, Shorty got low, 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 low. Why do I know that song? I don't know. <laughs> the only thing that would be like bad to that is like if they had the kids twerking to the low, 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 yeah. low. Yeah, that's that's a no, no. That shouldn't be kids, happening. I don't know if they're doing a dance that's not inappropriate to it. I don't see too much of a problem with it. How is that different from like dancing to like some Britney Spears songs? I don't think she would think it's any different. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. She's probably not Britney Spears number one stan. There is no good stanza in that song. It's all lustful. It's all suggestive. It's all all seductive. It's all um, perverse. But do the beat slap. All these girls are doing this Twitter to this song and they're going to go to the internet to look up the rest of the song. And it's like, well, my teacher says this song's okay. Nowhere in here was the school or the teacher being protective of these children's innocence. No one was trying to look out for what was best for these kids. This teacher is being very selfish because she wants to be hip up to date, cool, doing TikTok, uh, entertaining the school. She wants to be liked by the teens. These are 12 and 13 year old girls. She is taking from them. I wanna know what the song is though. There's so much context missing here, I feel like. Do we get to the bottom of this? And so I'm going to be going into the school. Oh, and okay. I don't have an appointment. I just found out about this yesterday. I'll sit in the office until I'm seen. POV, you are a Karen. And talk to the assistant principal, he says, okay, I will meet with the principal. And I said, do you, do you want to write down the name of the song? He said, oh 
Yeah, yes, that would be helpful. What is the name of the song? So I gave him the name of the song. Give me the name of the song. I need the name of the song here. I need to make a judgment on this. What is going on here? Because is this justifiable or is it not? If it's like some like cup cake song, yeah, I would be like, hell no. We should not be playing this for the children. But like if it's flow right a low, there's not much of a problem there. They're going to be exposed to that music inevitably. They probably already have heard flow right a low if they've been to any sporting event. You want my phone number? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you have no intention of following through with me, do you? I didn't say that. But the fact that I was hand-holding him, telling him what he needed in order to follow through with me, tells me he, he was not upset. It's because he has an angry Karen yelling at him, and he just wants to get out of the situation. So he wrote my phone number down and shook my hand. Thank you again for meeting with me. I'm so glad you came in. I said, I said, yeah, of course. When will you follow through with me? I'll get to you by late morning. I said by late morning. So that's, I'm assuming, before lunch. Yeah, yeah, I'll get back to you before noon. I said, good, I look forward to hearing from you. Oh boy, here we are before noon. Late at night now and I am going to hit the sack. I'm going to go to bed. The vice principal never did call me. I hope that she is as shocked and incensed as I am. Did she really cliffhanger saga this? She did cliffhanger saga this. We need to go to the next video. Where's the next video to the saga? Comments towards this. I can't really say too much here because I don't know what the song is and I don't know what the dance is. Is she acting like a Karen? Yes. But like, is it justified? Viable. I don't know right now, but she did hit us with the POV Karen. So let's move on to the part two of the saga. Opening scene here, action footage of her, I'm assuming, like stomping her way into the school. <laughs> I am so upset. Oh, actually, opposite. She's leaving the school in rage. Okay, <laughs> that was a good hook. She has this hook now. I am so angry. I could scream then scream like come on what's going on what made you this upset and i had an appointment with principal and she had the assistant principal how old is she 40 and she's acting like she got rejected from like the lead role of a play in <laughs> middle school what's going on here <laughs> never responded to me like he said he would and then i guess there's two assistant principals so there was three of us we sat down and what can i help you with today and i i said i have a concern about about the tiktok dances i have a concern about the tiktok dances what is it gary do you have a concern about the tiktok dances no thoughts head empty well you're very cute keep chilling there buddy she said in the fall semester and in the spring semester we need to have a performance a flash mob is a great way to get it in it's efficient it, the kids love it they have fun with it and um, they are able to check off their performance for their grade i said my problem is the choice of songs and she says well all the songs were approved by me the teacher put together a list of songs and she gave them to me and i approved them and i said okay so you approved this song that has all of these lyrics in it. And she says, well, we're not singing, we're not dancing to those lyrics. It's just a portion. And she says, I, I think it's really great because um, I actually really like it because um, Smith's used it in their commercial. It's part of pop culture. It's all over the- Wait, Smith's commercial. Wait, we're finding the song. I think the commenter is smart because really? the new Smith's commercial, listen to it. Oh, it is low. Smith's app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales. Okay. <laughs> So this is all over flow right low. <laughs> the baggy sweatpants rebucks with a strap. She turned around and gave that big booty a slap. Okay, that's the first, uh, I guess, innuenda or whatever that's called. So I mean, like, yeah, if, if they have the kids twerking to low, 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 that is unacceptable. But if they're not, is this really a problem? No, not in my head, at least. Depends on the verse. Like, I, I, I can understand slightly if I have a 12 year old kid and they're doing the she turned around and gave that big booty a slap. Oh, yeah, no, that is, yeah, no, yeah. Why are they even using this song here now? Why is she this outraged over Flo Rida Low? Because they could have easily picked something way worse. At least they're not doing the WAP dance <laughs> in the cafeteria. I'm relieved that we now know, confirmed, it is Flo Rida Low that she is freaking out about. I want Flo Rida to respond to this. Flo Rida, if you're watching this somehow, what are your thoughts, sir? Leave it in the comments below. And there's just a comment, Flo just Rida Vivo. Flo, yeah, Flo Rida. And before the top comment simply flow ride a vivo on this video and it just says whack 
<laughs> and I said, so your standard, what you allow in your school is pop culture, what the kids really like and what shows up in commercials. That's your standard. OK, so another thing, though, did say that they're using the song that they were using in Smith's and on the Smith's commercial here, they were only using the sample of low, 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 yeah, low. Yeah. They didn't have any of the lyrics in it. Yeah. So could they be using that version? Yeah, I don't know. Using the beat. And then she just looked up the oh, song right. and then sees the lyrics. She could be misconstrued construing everything. Entirely possible. Man, okay. <laughs> I would hope that the principle where my kids go to school, that, that the standard would be truth, morality. And she says, well, what's moral for you isn't going to be moral for other parents. You know, you're complaining about this song, but I've got 30 other parents that just think it's wonderful. And I said, it's what's moral according to God. I think if you put those lyrics out and told each parent what that song is, I think 100% of parents would agree that that's immoral. Did she put her kids into a religious school? Because it's like, yeah, if she put her kids into a religious school, sure, I, I understand why she can have that outrage. If she just put it into, put her kids into a public school system that has nothing to do with religion. They will not give a f also, the context of all the other parents being yeah. fine with it, I feel like shows us that they probably aren't dancing to the lyrics of that song. At least, to our knowledge, this is the only parent from that school having a mental breakdown on YouTube about this situation. From what we can see, she's the only parent that's not okay with it. Moment of silence for the daughter, though. How painful must it be? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Imagine to have that mom. I didn't even think about that. Wow, Sally, we can't even dance to Florida Low because your mom had to go onto YouTube. <laughs> No! See, this is why I'm against family vlog channels because you're ruining your kid's social life if you have a vlog channel. I'm sorry. She goes, well, yes, yes, I, I agree. It's immoral too, but I'm only using this section. Okay, so then that makes sense. That's just like the commercial then. Do you hear the compartmentalizing? Do you hear that you're taking this immoral song and you're saying, but I'm going to take this section? 97% of pop culture is immoral to her then. Well, yeah, I think that's the entire point of this breakdown almost. So why aren't her kids in like some religious school that matches with her ideologies then. It's possible they are. I don't know. She is losing it here. That is a perfect thumbnail. This is exactly why I'm not a teacher, nor a principal, nor a guidance counselor. Those are, this is the only reason. <laughs> Pretty, because imagine having to deal with upset parents. Also, the other reason I'm not a guidance counselor is because who in their right minds would want to chill very expensive schools and to say, hey, no worries, kids. You guys can just take this six figure loan with a 7% interest rate on it that starts ticking right away. Um, no problem. No, I, I don't have the morals to do that. I would rather just sit and trash talk for a living. But mad respect to the to the teachers that are out here <laughs> dealing with this. Even the section that's there is still seductive and lustful. I said a 12 year old, 13 year old may not realize it, but you and I as women know that that's seductive. And I'm looking at the assistant principal who's a man and he's just got his head down like this. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I can see you're not open to hearing my feedback. And she says, well, you know, if Julie wants to get out of the class, I'm totally fine making adjustments, whatever would make Julie feel comfortable. I'm open to doing. I will, um, if she doesn't want to participate, that's fine. Julie's finna get bullied by her class because of this. Let's be real here. I, I feel bad for Julie. F and chat for Julie, ladies and gentlemen. After seeing this, I feel like I can wake up every single morning and be grateful that my mom did not have a vlog channel while I was growing up. You're missing the whole point of why I'm here. I am not here for anyone's comfort, including my daughter's. I'm not here to make her comfortable. Of course she can move classes, not because you said so, but because I said so. I am here to remove Florida from all school curriculum. We shall not flash mob dance to Florida anymore. The state's been canceled and the musician. Oh. For all she knows, he could be talking about limbo. Like she said though, that maybe the 12, 13 year old girls don't fully get it, which I think they probably do, but. Yeah, 13 year olds are so much more smarter now than what I was when I was 13, I feel like. I don't know, just like talking to my 13 year old cousin, I'm like, wow, you are like infinitely smarter than what I was when I was 13. They're also exposed to a lot more. That's true. The internet has really, really moved that along That's quickly. That's why I'm thinking she's just freaking out for nothing. Cause I feel like surely- Yeah, but by now they've probably heard Flo Rida low. Yeah, especially what? if it's on a commercial, like, you know, it's, it's a popular song. It's catchy, the beat's pretty good. I'm the parent. And yes, we know <laughs> I am here to 
invite you to see you, the principal, who are supposed to be bringing morality and supposed to be a standard, who have these precious children. You are not protecting them. I don't think that's actually in the principal's job. Isn't it like the principal's job just to like make a school curriculum to follow? Isn't he kind of like the CEO of the school? So he just makes sure <laughs> that everything runs like I it's supposed to run. There is a certain amount of like making sure nothing inappropriate is going on, but. But like, this isn't like. This is about flow right. <laughs> yeah, like this isn't WAP. If it was a genuinely provocative song and they were dancing to certain lyrics and stuff, I honestly would get it. I would get yeah. being upset. That would be very disgusting. But the fact that they're most likely just dancing to the beat of this song that is played on a commercial, just that snippet. Mm -hmm. I, and she's the only parent that's outraged like this and losing her mind in the car. Yeah, it's a bit much. It's definitely a bit much. Oh man. She's talking about moralities. This is the same person who didn't want to feed her kids lunch yeah. when they forgot to make lunch. Yeah, and kind it of is. exploiting her kids for views. Views, literally, yeah. At least the principal doesn't have a vlog channel and he's uh, making <laughs> profits off of... Uh, <laughs> Cut to the principal's vlog channel. <laughs> I hope that we're not moving towards that kind of dystopian society. Like, if principals start getting vlog channels now... I think a lot of teachers have, like, TikToks and stuff these days. Oh, man. You are introducing them to to the world and you're saying it's okay you introduced them to the world when you brought them into it what are you talking about here you're saying that you support this just the fact that it's florida low that she's crying. about I was, I was very strong and sorry but now i am crying in the end you are not going to answer to those 30 parents who think this is a good idea. And you're not going to answer to me who is telling you this is wrong. I said you will answer for what you brought into the school and expose these children to. What about the the morning radio? That probably plays Flo Rida Low. Probably plays songs that are worse than Flo Rida Low. If your kid has a phone, they've heard worse songs, you know? Definitely. Sorry, I'm just taking another screenshot because that was a pretty unhinged moment right there. I am 100% fine with what I've chosen. I'm like, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> you play Flo Rida Low in front of our children? Mm -hmm. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I almost got insta karma by making fun of Judy. I definitely did not build that chair, by the way. I said, that's sick, and I looked over at the assistant principal, who's a man, and he's got his head down like this. He won't make eye contact with me. It's because you're literally raging at them, because they wanted to do a dance to a small portion of Flo Rida Low. I don't know how they can calmly say it to you. They probably are, like, just taking that meeting because they have to, and they probably want that meeting to end as quickly as possible. Let's be real. I There's a part of me, though, that is kind of surprised that they wouldn't just take that snippet out if one one person was really outraged. Like the way she's losing her mind over this, I yeah. think I would kind of give in and just be like, okay, we'll just replace it. No, with but like, else. so this was like PE class, right? How many PE classes have they spent learning this dance? So because of this unhinged mother, would they lose what they worked the last eight PE classes on? Yeah, that's possible, you're right. So, so that's like, and then everything is, you know, a time thing. Yeah. They need to do this before the semester ends. They're probably sitting here like, bruh, we don't have time for this. This is not a big enough issue to actually worry about it right wrong i don't know i'm not a parent and i look at the woman she can't she couldn't have been more than 25 years old she was just young and her face her face was just full of pain i could i felt like she heard what i was saying but i don't think she'd ever seen anyone hold her principal accountable i don't know if anyone's ever gone in and held that principal accountable. We're in the land of Karens. I would not say that. I'm sure that's probably happened before. There's probably a line of Karens yeah. holding her accountable. <laughs> Take a number. <laughs> <laughs> she is evil for her to have a parent come straight at her and tell her how evil this is. Define evil, because if evil is playing Florida low, I guess the entire population's technically evil then. <laughs> I have, unfortunately, played Flo Rida Low from one of my iPod devices at one point in my lifetime. So by Ruby standards over here, I am now evil. She said, you could go in and um, you could go in, of course not today. And she's talking with a smile on her face like this. Like you could go in and listen to the class. Of course, not today. Um, today wouldn't work. Um, but you could come in. We could set it up for next week. 
or after spring break. Why don't we do that? Would you like that? And I said, if I went into that classroom, I'd probably be fine with everything I see. Well, there's the good ending. (laughs) That's the good ending. End the video there. Problem solved. You are not reading between the lines. Those girls are going home and they're looking up the rest of the lyrics to these songs you're hooking them into. They're dancing to the song. If they have TikTok on their phone, they're being exposed to a million times worse than Florida Low. Let's be real here. If they have Instagram on their phone, they're being exposed to a million times worse than Florida Low. If they have internet connection that's not like severely blocked off, they're being exposed to a lot worse than Florida Low. And even if they don't, if their friends do, you know, exactly. They can use a friend's phone. They're exposed, you know? Ugh. I will say that I get the fear. Like, I'm just trying to empathize a little bit. I understand how that's probably really scary. But this is like, this is like a helicopter parent times a hundred. Yeah. It doesn't work. Being yeah. a helicopter parent doesn't work because you're just going to scare your child and they're going to be more secretive. They're going to use their yes. friend's phones. They're going to... And or they're just going to be super awkward and or bullied because her mom is having a unhinged yeah. rant on YouTube. Uh, what is it? A two-part rant? Yeah. It's about actually this. three parts. There's three parts of this. I'm sorry. There's so many parts of this. We can't even fit all the parts into this one video. We've recorded for over an hour now. Let's continue. They, they've got it in their head and they want to know the rest of it and they're looking it up. You're okay with them looking up the rest of the lyrics to this song it's explicit it's disgusting and she goes oh i know i know i agree i don't like any social media and i'm like why do you have it why not cut it out you can and she's like well every, everything has got nasty and i said that's not true so much good in dance there is so much good in music you don't have to stoop to this pop culture level to entertain your children you're not interested in teaching them you're inter- you're you're interested in entertaining them if i'm going to raise my children. I will have to do it myself. I cannot count on their teachers. I cannot count on their principal. They couldn't count on you to feed them lunch, apparently. (laughs) I feel so bad for her kids. F and chat for all of them. This is so upsetting. I, I suspected that I would be minimized, but I had no idea how aggressive and mean. And you guys, I don't live in like a real crazy city. I live in a quaint conservative city where people think they're safe. Playing Florida Low at the school does not endanger your children. Her definition of safe is where she can live without hearing Florida Low. Thoughts, concerns? He's like falling asleep. That, that's how I feel about this as well, Gary. Breaks my heart. And then you get a mom. You put her in a room full of administration. They're all numb and, and you're the one awake. You know the, what's it called? Kind of conspiracy theory meme that's going around when they hit you with the fluoride stare. She's awake and she knows that Florida Low is evil. They're giving her the Florida stare. Exactly. Oh man, uh, what is your guys' take on this? I'm gonna end this video before my chair falls apart and I'll see you guys in the next one.